What's going on, everybody? You are now tuned in to the Triple M Boxing Channel, your source for all your boxing needs. And, bro, man, boxing's good to us this year, huh? It's been that amazing. Good. Been amazing. Yeah. Of... Shout out to Turkey, man. I think he's uh... <laughs> he's been the, the catalyst past two years he's been he's been making us the fights man and i love it can't has, complain man. he has yesterday a big fight just got announced i mean it's always coming. big when he fights it is it is and you already know who we talking about september 14th canelo alvarez is set to fight mr berlanga berlanga edgar berlanga nello versus berlanga what are your thoughts on this fight, man? What are you thinking so far? Man, number one, no one asked for this fight. Now, let me just say that. A lot of fans, obviously, we know who you wanted for years now. Um, but, hey, Canelo is staying active, but Canelo isn't fighting David Benavidez. But we'll get to that later. Uh, but, yeah, number one, no fans didn't ask for this fight. No one wanted to see a Berlanga Canelo but I guess we're going to see it. You know, Berlanga is the mandatory uh, for, uh, I believe it's either WBA or WBO, uh, Canelo's belt. So Canelo is fighting his mandatory. Um, but yeah, my initial reaction is I, I knew it was going to happen. You know, after the Munguia fight, they were talking about the Berlanga fight right away anyways. Um, so that was a big possibility, and I was just that, that just confirmed it. Canelo announced it yesterday. I mean, I, it's not the it's not my top fight to watch this year. Definitely not going to be the top fight this year. Um, but hey, I'll be watching. Oh yeah, man. Well, I'll be watching regardless. <laughs> you know, regardless, man. Like that. My what first initial say? thoughts. My first initial first initial thoughts on this fight. Why? Like you. Like, I didn't ask for this. I don't think anyone asked for this. Yeah. Why Berlanga? Right? If it were me, if it were to be like anywhere not, anyone else that's not Benavides, bro, give it to Eubank. Yeah. Why Berlanga? It's hard because it, all he's going to say is it's mandatory. That's it. If not, he loses his belt. Either that or William's call. That's all yeah. we have. William, what's his name? William's call. IBF, William's call. But it's, like I said, Canelo is running out of options. 168, you know, it's, it's it's a great division. Obviously, Canelo's on top, but we only want that one guy, man. And it's, we're, we're not, we might not get it ever, to be honest. But we get, we see uh, whatever we get from Canelo, we watch. Um, it's like, it's just not our top, uh, as you know, it's just not our top pick. Exactly. And like when, uh, we, when we had George Chen on here the uh, few months back, he was saying, like, dude, he's he's at the top. He's the king. He's the king yep. pin. Which yep. he is, right? So he he's basically calling the shots on who he wants to fight because, number one, he earned it. I'll give him that, right? Absolutely. But, but at the same time, man, it's like you have to give your fans exactly what they want. And what's disappointing, too, and I'm going to add to that, is he's always, he's always giving his fans, us, boxing fans, the fight that we wanted. We wanted Triple G. Hey, this guy gave gave us Triple G three times. We didn't even ask for the third one. This guy gave us a third one. You know, we wanted we wanted uh, Charlo has been calling them out for a while. We kind of wanted Charlo, not when it happened, but a lot of people from the start when Charlo's the Charlo brothers were were at the top of their game. They wanted Canelo versus Charlo, saying one of those guys will beat Canelo. Guess what happened? We got Charlo. Man, we got undisputed Canelo, man. We, you know, he fought through all these guys. He even fought Bivol. You know, we, did we want Bivol? No, because that was the guy guys in a different division. But guess what? He went up there. Yeah. You know, and there's this one guy that we want now that, you know, kind of not getting it. It sucks because it's kind of biased. You know, a lot of, we're so used to Canelo giving us the fight that we, the fights that we wanted. True. And it's just not Canelo like for him to not, uh, not not a fight, David Benavides. So that's that's just my two cents. But you know, nonetheless, Berlanga is a come forward fighter. He used to be eighteen and 0, 18 knockouts in the first round. Um, you know, it's he has a he has a name, 
you know, and it's going to be another Puerto Rican versus Mexican uh, weekend. So at that, at the end of the day, you know, they'll make their money. It'll all sell. It's Canelo. And, you know, we'll, uh, we'll watch. But hopefully we get, you know, get the fights that we want after. Yeah, exactly. But, hey, good on Berlanga for getting that payday, you know? Hey, <laughs> hey let's go. Can't hate him for that. You can't hate him for that. Exactly. Can't. If I'm Berlanga, I'll say yes to it right away. And that's what he did. So he'll, Berlanga will get a shot. It's going to be a long shot. He opens up as an underdog. But, hey, who isn't an underdog against Canelo? They're exactly. Major underdog at that, you know? Yep. Now... Other news came about. Canelo was stripped. Not in the good way. He was stripped. <laughs> <laughs> he was stripped of the IBF right before this fight. Yep. Crazy. It is for not fighting Williams Call. Yeah. You know, one thing about the IBF, I'll say this, is they are consistent. If they mandate you to fight someone and there's no good reason for you not to fight them or there's no, you know, there's no acceptable reason for you not to fight them, like in this case, this guy and William Skull, it doesn't make sense. So yeah, it won't make money. That's why Canelo said no. Strip him right away. And they didn't hesitate. So IBF is mandating William Skull versus some other guy to, for the IBF title. Um, and, you know, that's... That's good on IBF. Good. Mm. Um, but all I can say, though, is this is what I'm really salty about. Because these sanctioning bodies, you know, I need consistency. Yeah. IBF is so, has always been consistent with their um, ma mandatories with Usyk. That was even strict. Usyk is contractually obligated to fight Tyson Fury again. But guess what? They still stripped him. They don't care. They have to fight, uh, what is it, Dubois? Someone like the yeah. Dubois, yeah, Dubois and AJ, or oh no, Dubois at that time. Um, so it they're they've been consistent, but the thing with the WBC, it sucks because the w, as per the WBC rules, they can mandate you their the mandatory, but you have to activate it. In this case, it was David Benavides for the past three years. Three years, um, past <laughs> a few years, man, for the Canelo's belt. It was never activated. I don't get why you have to activate it. But Canelo was never stripped. So at the same time, we're blaming Canelo, saying that he he's ducking Benavides when this WBC is not even pushing that fight. And that's that's why I'm looking for consistency with these sanctioning bodies. But I guess it's all, you know, at the end of the day, it's Canelo brings on brings the money, so as long as he has the belt, he'll pay the WBC, right? But that's that's true, man. That's so true. But yeah, man, good on IBF for for doing that. Because if it was going the way it's going, and everyone was following how the WBC does it, man, the whole division is gonna be held up. Yep, fights hey, not gonna yo. happen. Canelo's just gonna hold the belts without fighting nobody. Guess who? Uh, WBC and uh, what's his name? Jamal Charlo. How long has this guy been the champion at 160? Eight. You know what I mean? How, yeah. how many times did he fight? He didn't even make what? Well, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's that's just it. I'm just, I, that's just my two cents. And I'm a little, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little, what do you call this? Disappointed when he get that Benavides fight. It wasn't, it just wasn't pushed enough, in my opinion. I agree. And I, I, I honestly don't, I don't think it's ever going to happen at this point because from what I think, bro, Canelo's on his way up. He's just collecting his money now. Yeah. Right? I mean, he Canelo might have like two or three more fights and that's it. But will those two or three fights be against Benavides? Will it be against someone like Crawford? Who, who are these other people before he makes his exit, you know? I personally think, you know, Canelo said he, he takes it fight by fight. He's not, what, 35, 36? He mm -hmm. probably has a few more years, a couple of years-ish. Uh, but I personally believe that he'll give us another two to three fights, hopefully three, that we want to see. And I really hope that that one's David Benavides. But to add to that, man, David Benavides is now moving up to – he just confirmed that he's staying at 175. That's good. And I – I can't hate on that. I, that's really the best move for David Benavidez, man. If this guy won't fight you, guess what? Fight the bigger guys. Chase the bigger challenge, which I believe it's not just literally bigger, but obviously 
whoever he gets is going to be a nightmare. You know, assume, you know, whatever, like, we saw him at 175. Obviously, he didn't look as good because he's fighting guys that are big. So imagine him fighting a B-ball or a better BF. So good on good on David for, you know, not waiting on that one guy and actually still writing his book and, you know, still chasing greatness even though he doesn't get Canelo. Let me ask you this. If both fighters win and we get the chance to actually – Canelo asks – all the fans after this fight, hey, who do you want me to see fight next? Because I will make it happen. A fight with Bud Crawford at 168 or a fight with David Benavides? Man, that's so hard. That, I remember you asked me this question the other day, and I had to really think about it. Because number one, David Benavides, when he moved up a weight class, he struggled to put dude out. Mm. Right, Canelo. Uh, yeah, no, it, was, it wasn't Canelo. Um, who, who was the guy that put him out before? It was uh, Better BF. Better BF. Yep. Better BF put that guy out. Hey, everyone. Boss yeah. out. Yeah, he, he yep. put everyone out. Right? Who kidding? <laughs> yeah. Right? Right? Now, on the other hand, Crawford, bro, he's jumping up a weight class. Two Couple weight classes. Yeah. Yeah. Two weight yep. classes. Right? We haven't seen him at 168, mind you. Crawford, he is athletic. Well, these are assuming he beat Mad Madrimov at 150. Exactly. Exactly. So, like, oh, I, I want to see how he does against Madridov. Madrimov. Madrinov. Madrimov, whatever. Yeah. Madrimov. Yeah, exactly. If he knocks him out, it was a very one sided fight. Okay, yeah, he might be able to hang up 168. But again, bro, that's two weight classes. That's a huge jump. After will he have the jumping. power? Yeah, yeah. Will he have the power at 168? Will he have the speed at. At 168, can he take punches at 168? So I'm like 50 50. For me, man, I would love to see the Benavides fight all day. That's that's the one fight I, I really want to see. Mind you, the Crawford fight would be crazy too, but that one is just, I'd rather see Benavides to be honest. What about you? I'm with you. You know, I've been, I've been thinking about it after we I asked that question because I'm torn. You know, now that. Obviously, Bud Crawford is a pay-per-view star. Canelo, the not a question. Crawford wants to chase greatness. You know, if he wants to fight um, Canelo for at one sixty-eight, and so be it. I'll watch it definitely. But I guess for me, the fair fight—not to say it's going to be a shutout—but the fair fight in weight is David Benavidez versus Canelo. You know, now that we know that David Benavidez is moving up. Or staying at 175, maybe it could be a catch weight, like 170, 172, you know. Or if Canelo wants, you know, whoever it is, because David Benavides, I guarantee you, now that he's staying at 175, if Canelo calls him out right away. This guy's moving down. If Canelo says 168 or nothing, I can guarantee you, David Benavides is moving down. So I think that's still the fight to see. You know, I'm like 51% Benavides, 49% Bud, because. I like to see guys chasing greatness too. And that's, you know, if Bud and Canelo happens, I know that will break records. Uh, they'll make a lot of money and it's going to be one hell of a fight to watch. But I still want to see the fight that we've been wanting, you know, for three years now. We just, we just want to see that first. And then, you know, Canelo can fight Crawford, I guess. But that's, uh, that's where I'm at. Yeah, then after he fights Crawford, after he fights Benavides, hey, go ahead, retire. Hey, That's fight it. Your, your job here is done. It don't matter no more. Fight Williams. Exactly. Call, you know I mean? Yeah, fight whoever you want after that, right? Yeah, fight afterwards. me too. Hell, give me. Give me <laughs> well, I'll move up to one sixty eight. I don't care. Give me the bag, but right, give, give me, give me, half, give me half a mil. I'll, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, bro, give me fifty k. <laughs> I'll be do it tomorrow, man. Dang. <laughs> All day, man. But let us know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this Edward Berlanga? Edward. Edgar Berlanga fight versus Canelo Alvarez. Do you want to see Canelo versus Bud? Do you want to see him fight Benavides? What do you guys think, man? Leave it in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, we are the opposite of in. We're out. <laughs>